Benny said she couldn't bear bees. Oh gosh, we're learning our bee 101 um, from Sanji. Her husband bought some bees. Um, she started sharing their bookkeeping journey, beekeeping, I'm sorry, journey on Instagram. The influence of the bee led to so much more in the life of the corporate beekeeper. Sanji Cummings, and she's here with us this morning. Thank you for being here. It's great. It's Fascinating. Great. The first thing is, if you're stung by a bee, what should you do? Baking soda and water in a paste, apply to the area. It numbs the pain away and it's fine. Bush does not work. Bush does not work. As a matter of fact, what bush does is it cardon. It covers the smell because once you get stung, that's the smell that comes from this thing calls other bees. So the bush would cover that smell, but the baking soda and water paste prevents you from getting too much pain. When the bees sting you, it cardon had a bees on you. To yes, you it that? does. I'm glad I learned that. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, so let's talk a little bit about this business. How did you become a beekeeper? You were in corporate. I was in corporate, sitting at my desk. I'm quite okay. And my husband brought bees during COVID. I encouraged him thinking that, hey, it's just a little thing. And we're going to do this in the next five years. And then a few days later, the bees came home and I had to scratch my head, <laughs> trying to work it in. You're trying to be supportive. You're trying to love your husband. And this comes. Mm -hmm. So I stood afar off until I got my super suit, which is my beekeeping suit. And then I started, the, the amount of things that I learned while beekeeping, it was so new. I've, I'm so old and I don't know all these things. And I started sharing it on Instagram. My friends, they started learning. And then when I became redundant, mm -hmm. the story uh, come to boom. Yeah. And I went through that process of trying to, 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 to find out what I am. I love, I'm creative, I love people, I'm passionate about my clients, my customers along the journey, but at the same time, I want to be able to make a difference, and I love bees, mm -hmm. and that's where the book started coming How along. How do you put that all together? A love of bees, a love of people, mm -hmm. passion for what you're, you're, you say you're pollinating on purpose, which are pollinating purpose, which I love, 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 love. Thank you. Um, and you know, we think beekeeping, we think about honey, obviously, as a, yes, as a as byproduct. A byproduct but yes. you, you, your thing is understand bees, understand life. That is correct. It's a paradigm. It's a, it it's a framework, which is it fun. Is. I mean, you're telling us now about the queen bee. Oh, yeah. The queen bee is obviously the female bee who does everything. Yeah. Yeah. No. The female bees, the worker bees do everything. The queen bee, she just goes around being nice, walking around laying eggs and her smell is just going through the hive and telling everybody, hey, I'm here, I'm sweet and I'm good, you're okay. I'm just calming down the colony, but the worker bees do all the work. So the queen is just there to be pretty. But the worker and bees are eggs. women. Oh yeah. And the male bees they stay just, home and watch They TV. stay home, keep the colony warm during the cold, mm. and then they go out to mm. mate with other mm -hmm. queen bees. And dead. <laughs> and die. But, if, but <laughs> you know, it, it is a part of pollinating purpose. If they don't do that, the colony cannot go forward. Correct, correct. And a bee's lifespan, you say, is about six, six weeks. The female worker bee is six weeks. Okay. The other bees, the queen can live roughly three years in her prime oh. and seven years. The drone bees, they live a little longer than the worker bees. But it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good mix. And I found this synonymous with the corporate world. Mm -hmm. You have the leadership, the queen bee. You have the workers, the staff. You have the drone bee who, staff too, and the sacrifices are made. But I found it so, so revealing in that if definite, definite alignment it's, and parallels. It aligns so yeah, well. Yeah, if, yeah. if the colony doesn't take care of the queen, she actually cannot thrive. If the worker bees, they clean, they feed, they actually eat her food, digest it, break it down and give it to her to eat. If they don't do that, she dies. And also the notion of the working together to yes. make the whole thing work. Yes, to make the whole thing yeah. work, to pollinate purpose to ensure that the baby bees learn what their role is as they go along and yeah. they can fulfill their own purpose throughout the hive. When the forager goes out and she gathers nectar from the flower, only, only that forager can do that. But the other bees have to learn that. Here's what's also fascinating, and this is not a part of the corporate analogy, but this product that you guys do, right? Because you yes. do honey. Yes. Um, We're out of season now. You're out of season now. Yes, there is a season. Right. And there's a season because you can't take 
you can't take honey. all the honey mm. from the bees because that too is their food. That is their food. So it's how you take just enough to do what you need to yes. do, but you don't take everything. Which no, is, you I can't. guess, that also aligns with corporate because yes. you can't take out you everything. No, you have to give back. You have to allow so it can grow, so that others can learn, so that others can go forward in the business. You can't just take, take, take. You have to pollinate yeah. purpose. Yeah. Just like how the forager bee goes out, she takes the nectar, and while she takes her, she selfishly takes her nectar. But in doing that, she also takes pollen and moves to the other plant, drops off that pollen. That flower goes ahead. That flower can regenerate and grow and get to, to, to go more. Fascinating. And in the same way we should do, when we touch somebody, you try and encourage them so that they too can go forward. They can have value. You carry it forward. Wow. And so everybody thrives. I mean, who would know you can get all of that from bees? You know what I mean? We're usually running from them, but there's a lot to be learned from them. Yes. So you've, it's you've written book. books out of this story of Beesdom, how we came to BEE. -E. Yes. <laughs> um, you've done journals. I've done journals. And you do corporate, is it workshops? Um, I'm into that. So mm -hmm. I did a consultation um, by a, a law firm, which, I, which is where the pollinating purpose idea came from. When I looked at this staff, sometimes you don't know as a staff. You're in a business, but you're not sure what you be, where you belong. However, when you listen to, when, you, when others can guide you along, they can lead you. And then when they lead you, you're able to lead your customers. Mm -hmm. Your customers can feel good about coming to you. You can help them along their journey. You can produce empathy. You can listen. You can hear and understand exactly what they want to be able to help them to if get If your bees needs. are happy, the output is amazing is what Sanjay is saying. Yes. So guess what now? So all of this is your purpose, that redundancy was in the cards from long Can time. I tell you, yeah. I, I say, I say, and it took, it was really deep. It's hard to go through it. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard to go through it, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to sign the paper, but then the process doesn't end there. It starts in the mind and you have to leave that history and come forward to understand who you are in a new role. You have, it's a complete role description. So redundancy, as I said, the Lord pushed me out. Redirection, my love. Redirection. Redirection. And I appreciate it. Detours are divine. I oh, believe yeah. it, believe oh, it, yeah. believe it. Oh, yeah. Amazing. So, oh, yeah. so where we find you on Instagram? I want so to find more about this. Instagram, it's unbecoming sweet, O-N-B-E-E-C-U-M-M-I-N-G-S-W-E-E-T. That's cute. our journey. My husband <laughs> came up with that. Too cute. And then there is Inks by BCS where I focus on my books. But on LinkedIn, I'm SS Cummings, and that's where the corporate beekeeping mm -hmm. comes along. Okay. Um, when the Great Resignation went through, um, the, the whole COVID and the Great Resignation, I, I immediately saw where if you don't feed your bees during a drought, so there's a special thing that we do, they eventually die off. For example, if there is drought, if there is a rainy period and they don't have enough food, they die out. And then you have to learn to feed mm -hmm. others, give mm -hmm. them purpose, mm -hmm. and move along. Nice, Sanjay. You, you're in your pocket, my love. Thank you. You're in your bag. Thank you. Joy dripping off of you. It's sweet like sugar. <laughs> yes. Or should I say sweet like honey? honey. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, I enjoy it. Corporate beekeeper, Sanjay, coming with us this morning. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being Thank here. You. Up next, pursuing everyday hobbies. Ooh, sounds like fun. We're back with that. Nephril and I, after this. <laughs>